No bots in this, apparently. <laughs> but, uh, as you can see, you're just in a mud buggy. Whatever a mud buggy is, I don't know what that is. But <laughs> It's one of those trucks that have uh, high hydraulics and jump around a lot. That's what a mud buggy is. Do they actually call them that? Maybe in the Maybe 80s. in the south, I don't Maybe, know. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, uh, this was actually a really excellent system for the time. It didn't Absolutely. sell out of the, you know, it didn't blow its competition out the water. No, and which is surprising, you know, it it ended up third out of well, you know, there were other consoles on the market that did even worse, but out, out of the, of the big, major competition, the big three being the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, the ColecoVision, and the Intellivision, they were third. Wait, are we counting the Fifty Two Hundred here? That's in the lesser. <laughs> it, it did area. beat Fifty Two Hundred. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean the Fifty Two Hundred was a spectacular failure. <laughs> But, uh, you know, as far as being the king of the hill, the Intellivision had all the tools to do it. That's what's kind of surprising. There's really, uh, you know, they had the aggressive marketing. They had the corporate backing behind it. They had the talent. There's really no no reason the system shouldn't have been the best thing out there. But, you know, just... Atari had Atari, just a stranglehold on everything. Yeah, everyone knew the name Atari and associated it with video games. And, uh, you know... And a lot of times the best system doesn't always win. That's absolutely true. The Atari was, by that point, easy to develop for. Everyone knew it. Everyone was familiar with it. Everyone had one. And so they just continued domination. The ColecoVision came out of nowhere and and racked up massive sales that outpaced the Intellivision's fast sales and kind of left them in the dust because it came out even more powerful than this system and George Plimpton didn't have anything to say. Uh, so, yeah, he could look at the ColecoVision and go, hmm. Well, the ColecoVision might have better graphics, but the Intellivision... We have smarter games. Smarter games, yes. So, as we're riding this one out on a solo run through the Mud Buggy Park Stadium, we're going to wave goodbye to the Intellivision. Say, fond memories... Go out and enjoy one. Never. You can find a game for it anywhere, pretty much. Never forget <laughs> it. Yeah, it's available on pretty much any system, so if you want to try any of these, they're out there. Oop. Oop. Come on, Mud Buggy. Come on, Mud Buggy. And I would just like to add, long live the Intellivision Running Man. He is a great mascot, a true hero, one an all-American... <laughs> one of the first mascots. I don't even know if he was, but we've definitely turned him into one. And if his name is... Is his name the Intellivision Running Man? Or did oh, we... yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Because I truly believe that's what he is, and that's what he brings to the Intellivision and the history of gaming. So long live that Intellivision Running Man. And definitely check this system out. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And with that, we say, remember your history or you're doomed to repeat it. Unfortunately, Mattel never made another system, so they didn't really have much to But there is learn. plenty of crappy Barbie doll games out there for you to try. Uh, yeah, uh, the licensed stuff from Mattel's other it's stuff. going is, strong. Don't yeah. worry about it. But this original stuff, check out TelevisionLibs.com. And check out NewGenGamers.com for absolutely. all your other gaming needs. We hope you enjoyed this and comment us, and thank you very much.
Two Jane Gamers.